Only on Fox, it's a story of modern day slavery. People are being exploited either sexually or for forced labor. So what was it like being a victim of it? Fox 29's Stephanie Esposito has a Pennsylvania woman's story some 30 years later. Stephanie. Yeah, it's really amazing stuff. You are right. Human trafficking is modern day slavery and it's happening right here in our own backyards. Now there are lots of misconceptions about it too. In many cases, the victims end up getting treated like criminals. I spent the day talking with a woman who escaped after more than three decades in sex trafficking. She's one of the few to make it out alive. He was the most gorgeous thing in my life. Helene was 15 years old when she ran away from what she calls a dysfunctional family life at her home in the Lehigh Valley. Within a few days, she met a man who changed her life. Somebody came along and wants me and loves me for me. But the man whom she believed was her true love ended up being nothing more than a pimp. He said, I have a good way uh, that we can make money. My mind being trained at such a young age, I didn't really realize until just years ago that, that I was in bondage, that I was being controlled. Helene was used dozens of times a day at about $50 per encounter. She quickly became trapped in a world where her self-esteem was non-existent and an escape seemed impossible. You have to make a quota and if you don't, you get beat. He beat me with a coat hanger, he twist coat hangers up and made me sit in salt water. The pimp introduced her to drugs, she says, so that she could be more easily manipulated. He kept me inclined with the heroin and kept feeding my habit. Forced to meet quotas, Helene worked rain or shine, even when she was pregnant with her four children. All the while, the pimp threatening that if she didn't do what he said, he'd kill her or her family. After 55 prostitution arrests in the Lehigh Valley, the pimp didn't want to get caught and decided to move. I really didn't see anything. All I seen was hotel rooms. I wasn't allowed to go out. You don't stay in one area when you're a prostitute because once you get busted so many times, then they know that you're working for a pimp. They turn to 10 to try to get the pimp. Helene says she suffered abuse at the hands of countless Johns across the country. This trick picked me up and he had an army pin and his door handle was on the side of the door was broke off. I couldn't get out. He stabbed me up with the army pins. I wound up kicking the window out in order to get out of the car. It's a very dangerous life. Yep. Why did you never try to get away or did you? I couldn't. I did try to get away. I did try to get away and whenever I got away, it was like somebody knew where I was and told my pimp where I was. So it, yes, yes, yeah, they hunt you down. But Helene got a unique opportunity to escape when one day her pimp was punishing her. He tied her to a bed for three days. She managed to call for help. After a violent confrontation with police, the pimp was sent to prison for slavery. But it was no simple way out for Helene. She also went to prison for prostitution. It sunk into my brain that you don't have to be hit. You don't have to be beat. You don't have to be bound in bondage like that. It was in jail that Helene became free. A Christian ministry came into prison and told her that she could have a new beginning. Now she wants her story to inspire others. There is a way out. I'm living an example. Now, Helene has been free from trafficking and drugs for seven years now. She says it's a miracle not just that she's alive, but she's also not contracted any diseases. Now, Helene works with an organization called VAST in the Lehigh Valley, and it's helping to push for legislation to give trafficking victims a way out. We'll take a look at their efforts tonight at 6.